We fell in love. We fell in love. We fell Loading swamp Loading boss. Swamp boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I named it. Hey, look, we're here. <laughs> oh, I'm not here right now. I'm, it's actually... Oh, yeah, I, I do finish her, this guy. Yeah. Damn. How many they even got the berserk? Hi, pop bar macros. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Melee when the enemy is staggered and flashing blue and orange. <laughs> when you can press your flashing. glory kill button for an epic sweet hell. <laughs> Middle mouse button in God of War. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> Still loading, by the way. It is? It took me a while the first time. Uh, I refreshed my browser. I will preload the next map, then. Still at 98. Uh, free me! You do a sound free a bit... Me? You do sound a bit laggy. Oh, no. Let me close Steam. I'm gonna open Steam. Fucking control, I'll delete this bitch. We're not mentioning the summer. Oh, I'm in. Uh, I live! I live. Oh, Hariba! Uh, wait, no. This song is too sad. Hold on. Hold on! I get it! Okay, I'll pull up. What are the after party? Uh... Hey, there we go. I found the right one. Okay. I'll pull up. I pull up. I pull up. I'm playing Witcher Three music. It's good. I thought you were gonna say you're playing Luchador music for a second. <laughs> Luchador. Uh, all right. Last time we left off, uh, Caven just ripped a giant plant monster in half, and you were all kind of catching your breath. The uh, the kind of strange uh, the strange. Uh, like, green dust that the plant was giving off has kind of died down, and you see it kind of gather on the ground. Also, Prawn, uh, Prawn, uh, cut out its heart slash, like, center mass thingy, and now you have that. And now, now you're all just kind of recovering after battle. Oh. oh, would you like to count? How much <laughs> cash is in my cash stand? <laughs> uh, as I you, never counted it. Yeah, as you, as you look through, uh, you count uh, about... Let me see where I put it. Oh, yeah. You, don't you say count... it publicly. Tell me how much is in... Oh, in, wait, in <laughs> private? Okay. Tell me how much privately. There you go. Oh, okay. All right, I counted the monies. Yeah. Um, Where is Kaden? Uh, I don't know. We'll do it without him. Hopefully he he, uh, he shows up. Sixty three dub dub dub. Sixty three dub Sixty three stab wounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It was twenty three. That was my bad. <laughs> twenty three um, stab wounds. Do well, we Zort's trying to like, like a, uh, you know, not uh, hurt from the uh, the pain. <laughs> uh, can he check oh, out really the yep. box? Can he check out the boxes up here? See if there's anything interesting up here. Something about them just strike his eye as he like turns around to start walking towards the ladder. Sure. Uh, as you look, you see that uh, there's like some small like uh, 
like bags of rice. There's a uh, a like medium-sized like sack of potatoes. You see that it looks like in this corner it was mostly just like some extra like food space. I'll take extra food space. I think I'm good. Zort's gonna sit next to the ladder and pull out a cabbage. Okay. Munch on a cabbage. I'm gonna. I need to. I need to pray over this big monster. <laughs> Are we going <laughs> shuffling across the entire room? <laughs> yeah. I, I need to pray to your girl. <laughs> yeah, this is a big monster. He needs to get prayed for. Make a. I can actually religion check. Uh, for me. Press the button. Do it normally. Hmm. Well, I don't like that. You do actually hear a thing. <laughs> oh, not the thing. Shouldn't we move? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? I'm like, hey, Death God, I killed a big monster for you. Is that kind of based? You. You get the feeling that you definitely have, uh, you have definitely gotten, like, very close to figuring out one of your goals, and you get a sense that this was a pretty big and important step, but you don't necessarily get the feeling that it's entirely over. I definitely have more goals. True. And I still have to reestablish a cold eventually. But a small step on that big brick road. Mm -hmm. And you also remember that you do, in fact, uh, you get a sense that you, you're doing a pretty good job at getting like evidence and whatnot as Hold well. On. Say it again, you cut out. You're getting a, a good feeling about the evidence you have collected yeah as well i'm very confident this is what yeah. i needed to do if uh if 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 you could hear his voice uh mr death would probably be very happy a uh, boom oh i mean we got let's see four of us that's yeah, an no. average size party what is up party people that is what the average party is supposed to be it's four people <laughs> um Alright. As, a uh, Haven and Relb, as you are kind of looking at the now kind of cut up corpse of this this weird plant, you see in real time as it, it's starting to turn kind of like brown and then black and as it kind of like deflates on to the ground, there's still like this green ooze kind of spewing out of its wounds. I wonder what the secret of that ooze is. Even's gonna turn and look down towards, uh, Relb. Are you alright, Mr. Relb? Are you hurt? I'll be fine. Are you sure? Like, he's, like, <laughs> kneeling down to check and make sure he's okay. Uh, Relb is, like, furiously nodding his head. Alright, just wanted to make sure you're alright. Hey, Kaven, you see... A uh, quite a large dent in the in the kind of like steel helmet that Relb is wearing. Um, Mr. Relb, your uh, your helmet. Relb like takes the helmet off. And he's trying to figure out what's wrong with it. There seems to be a um, a dent in it. Oh no. Was from Relb's time in the mines. Oh, I just thought we had a big battle and you, you got hit. That was um, was my bad. Um, but at least we made it out all right. Yes. How about you, Mr. Prawn? Feeling a little bit better? Much better. I sense great things in our future. Kaven kind of looks back at the mass on the floor. I sure hope so. That's the first time I've taken the life of something. 
it was still in self-defense that gave you no choice, young Caven. I mean, I've defended my flock from wolves before, but never killed one. Is this really what I'm supposed to be out here doing? Well, look at what evil it's coming. It was eating Big corpses. Big gardening. Really sentient. Not Big, Big gardening. <laughs> he kind of thinks about it. Rub is like pointing at the at the giant plant monster. What's oh, left of it? I I guess you could say that. Big gardening. <laughs> Relv is satisfied with his with his input. It goes back to being deep in thought, or as deep as Relv can get. I should collect some of that fucking monster juice. See if he can't make anything out of it later. That's actually yeah. Relv is going to go up on the ground. Is is there anything special that Relv can figure out about? Um, Really gross. I mean, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good reason. Are there any special you, properties to this strange plant monster's remains? You, that you could make? Nickelodeon slime someone. <laughs> oh no! Uh, make a Arcana check for me. Where is the found? There's the foundry. Hang on. The foundry. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it sm it, just it does it, it smells really bad. But from your experience, things that smell bad often go boom. Reb will take a small sample. Okay. By that I mean he scoops out a bit of it, scoops a bit of it up in his hand, just throws it in his pack. He doesn't actually have anything to carry. <laughs> He's gonna Does slime he? all of his stuff. His stuff's oh, gonna smell no. awful forever now. Uh, <laughs> like stained. That's some high value slime time. Yeah. Yeah, it's no. What's happening? He doesn't have anything. I mean, I have an ink bottle, but it's full of ink. But Rob does not have any bottles or anything for taking samples. Most of the stuff he works with is like solid matter. Rob slimed himself. Confirmed. <laughs> After you slime. After you toss some of the of the uh, slime in to your bag, uh, you feel that the the hand that that, that you kind of use to scoop up some of the, of the slime has uh, it's it feels like it's like about to go numb, like you were like laying on it. So Using the same hand, Rel will scoop up a bit more of it. Okay. And actually, I think it's. I think it's can, acidic. Can Rel dump out one of his ration packs and use? <laughs> sure. I guess they are waterproof, aren't they? So yeah. Yeah. Rel has invented no for can. <laughs> no, Rel. Rel has ideas. Don't you worry. Rel has ideas, and medicine is about. not one of them. I don't think I'm good at medicine either. I will. I can uh. <laughs> Hold on. I'm I'm adding new item goo. <laughs> goo. Through unknown circumstances, Rel will be there the you world's go. Give first blast surgeon. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Is there anything else you guys would like to do in in this basement? No, I want to leave. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, um, Zort kind of picking himself up, looking at Caven, goes, Ooh, you did well, kid. I don't feel like I did. It's not easy to begin with, but it was a harmful plant. You did a good thing as Dirty as it may seem. I'll take your word for it, Mr. Zort. I know we've only known each other for a short time, but I really do enjoy your company and I trust you. Thank you for backing me up. Well, you've come out of this scrap in a much better shape than I have. <laughs> 
it seems that I should be thanking you. And sort of uh, holding his side, he starts to, you know, climb the ladder. Kind of one-handed, a little slowly. Taven will be behind him trying to assist him in any way he can up the up the ladder. If you wouldn't mind when we get to the cart, if you could drive for a while, I will tend to my wounds in the back. Uh, yes, sir, but um, I don't. I don't think I've ever drove a cart before. It's not that hard. I've gotten more used to it recently. Well, um, all right. I uh, I'll try it. I just wish well, I had something to give you and uh, the rest of our group. You all seem pretty hurt, but there's not much I can do. Some rest uh, will hopefully cure this all pretty well. I am what they call a quick healer. Well, what now? Was this what we were meant to come here and do? I believe so. In my experience with the undead, there is usually a source. This seems to be it. And we have eliminated it. Well, if it avenges what happened to Mr. Simon, then I guess I can't be too sad about it. Yes, hopefully the undead will dissipate over time, though I am concerned with where these undead, or should I say that undead plant came from to begin with. I don't know, Mr. Zor, there's a lot of things I don't understand. I mean... This is my first time really leaving home, so I'm learning things as you are. I just hope I won't get in your way. And I guess what I mean to say by that is, if you'll have me, I'd like to keep traveling with you. I would like that for as long as you would like that. All right. We have an accord then. If um, if that's the case, Mr. Zorth, then um, I was planning on doing this for everyone, but I haven't really found everyone out just yet. If uh, if you know what I mean, uh, I would like to give you something, if that's okay with you, to hold on to, not to keep, of course, but just to hold on to. What would that be? And, uh, Caven reaches into, um, like, his pack, and he pulls out his little deck of, uh, of tarot cards, and he, like, flicks through it, and he, uh, he flips them all face up so he can see them more clearly, and he, uh, flips through and grabs on to one card, and, uh, face down, so where the back of it's showing, he, uh, he, like, um, reaches his hand out towards Zort. Um, if you wouldn't mind opening your hand. Oh, are we doing a reading? And he opens his hand and puts it out. Oh no, Mr. Zort, this isn't by chance. I'm I'm giving you this to hold on to. Oh, and, he, right. uh, and he reaches out and he places a card in your hand. I just posted it. Um, it's a... You just see a picture of a... Uh, like a man on a throne between two pillars and um he has like this authoritative but like you know loving look to their face and uh even kind of smiles um towards zord and he says this is the card that i believe you represent mr zord the hierophant it's the card that my father was known by and i know it's may not be my place to say, but you're kind of like a, a adventuring father, if that doesn't sound weird. You 
very much like a mentor to me. Um, hopefully, you know, things will go right for us. It's just a small gift from me to you. Um, this deck of cards means practically my whole life to me, but I trust you with this card, and um, yeah, I guess we uh, will go from here. Zort smiles and nods, uh, looking at Kevin. He says, thank you very much. It doesn't seem weird, and I accept your gift. Thank you very much. Now, I will say, though, um, if I ever need to do a reading, I will have to ask for it back, of course, but for the time being, it is yours. I understand, and... All you may do is ask, and I will hand it to you. Though, I'm not sure how much stock I put in people telling me of my fate. I much prefer to find it out on my own. Well, you know, the Hierophant, it, uh, it's a symbol of learning, education, and mm. seeking counsel and advice, and, you know... You really do seem like someone that I can come to for advice, so I, I think it fits. Well, thank you. Uh, feel free to pick my brain any time. And, uh, uh, sort of giving another smile and sort of closing his eyes a little bit. With a sort of head bob, he turns around. We best be off, so we make the deadline. Haven kind of smiles back and nods, and he goes over and gives Zord a hug before walking beside him back to the uh, to the cart. All right, Zord yeah. A hug. And as it, as you guys walk outside, you notice that during the time you've spent in this building and in the basement, it's actually started to rain. And is it raining? It is raining. Uh. And uh, so you guys just make your way back to the cart. You could do that easily enough. Yeah, you can do that easily enough, as one would say. It, it's ironic, because it's actually pouring rain over here. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't drive that, Michael. It was fucking awful. In the pouring rain. Oh, yeah, Chad. get back to the cart, I'm going to tap Relb on the shoulder, shoulder and mm -hmm. I'm going to ask him, see, Relb. You've been using a crossbow, haven't you? Yes! And Rel pulls out his abomination of a weapon <laughs> that he's bolted a... Would you designate like wide... this as a, as a rather lighter firearm or a heavier f weapon for you? Ah. Technically, it is a light crossbow, but because Rel is small, it is... A well, bit <laughs> if you would like, I happen to have something that might interest you. Let me see. Does this work? Hold on. No. Can I put this in chat? Hello, chat. Hello, chat. <laughs> what are you trying I can't. to do? Well, I've got this heavy crossbow here in my back pocket. Would you be interested in it? You can use this, please. It doesn't have a string, though, so you're going to have to string it yourself, but it is a heavy crossbow, so... Here you go. Do now and delete it from my inventory. There you go. It is stringless. It doesn't work, but... It is real. That shouldn't be too hard to get restrung when we get back to town. I mean, he could restring it from his current crossbow if... Hmm, I'm not sure if I would trust that uh, that line to work for the new crossbow, seeing as the heavier weight could snap. So, who am I to say? I've used the same crossbow for as long as I have used oh, one. <laughs> Additionally, most of you here, I have a special gift for you all. 
Is it cabbage? No, it's money. <laughs> when we oh. were in that place, I looked through an abandoned chest and I found some money. I'll be right back. He's gone, so he'll get his money later, but you <laughs> two, <laughs> would you like some of this desirable dosh? Mm. I, if you found it, wouldn't it be yours? Perhaps, but we are all here together. We all struggle through the same thing. Why shouldn't we share in the reward? That is true, Prawn. I suppose it's just I don't know you too well yet. I'm not sure if you're one who values money over blood, as they say. Well, then let me give you this as goodwill. I'm voluntarily offering this money. I could have just kept it. You would have never known. That is true. Do you accept? I would accept if you would give me some. It's always good to have gold to buy provisions. Especially with those nasty wounds you have. You might find this a little helpful. And I'm going to hand you... <coughs> I'm going to hand you ten gold pieces. That is a hefty sum. It is more than enough for what was earned here today. Thank you, friend. I will use it to help the party. How are you, young Caven? Would you like to partake in some of this yellowish, sweet, sweet goodie known as gold? What a strange way to <laughs> word that. Okay, yeah, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Brown, that is a little weird He's way of saying it, way. but um, I told you earlier, I um. I was trying to help you out there, so uh, I, I don't think payment is necessary. You earned it fair. Well, everyone needs a little bit of money. Perhaps just a little as spare cash in case you need it. Yes. Uh, I will give Kevin. you... If you were... I can just give you five. You do what you wish, Mr. Prawn. I don't want to take anything from you. It is not taking if it's offering, and I'm going to push ten gold into his hands. When gold is offered, it is a sure bet that it will be needed later, as the fates allow us only that which we need. Oddly spiritual from you, young Zord. I thought you would appreciate that. I am a spiritual man. The mountains were home to many things to pray to. Oof, some fouler than others. Kind Indeed. of like nosing back towards that plant where that plant thing was. Oh, there's plenty of evil in the world. Plenty of good too, though. I would hope Best that not to get too downtrodden. Yes, I mean, we are all standing here right now in the middle of the rain. A force for good. I would Realize. say. <laughs> but I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> you tiny Lorel man. Ten greens of gold. Another hey, strange way to say that. Ten oh, great heaven! <laughs> Ten what? Ten gold for you. <laughs> what? Are, are you okay? <laughs> I think my lung got pierced. I'm okay. I'm just bleeding to death slowly from the inside. Do you wish for the money? Robe holds out both his hands like a like a small child in a soup line. <laughs> I'm gonna salt bay yeah. the hand. I'm gonna salt bay the fucking goal into his hand. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Make it. How many gold did you give me, by the way? In gold pieces. Yeah. Ten gold! Make a performance. I didn't mean to do that. Make that your description. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. What are you doing? I hit zero. Oh. And started the napkin. <laughs> it's my napkin speech macro. Oh no. I didn't mean to. You <laughs> made a macro. Yeah, I have a macro. That's the whole thing. Shit, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Delete. Oh. There we go. Uh, Zort gets onto the, Zort gets onto the cart. Okay. 
Hey, y you should make a uh, a performance check, Bron. Me? Yeah. Uh, okay. You're sprinkling gold to Relb, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, two pieces fall on the ground. Uh, only two, though, considering how big these gold pieces are. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, I assume everyone loads up onto the wagon? Yes. Alright. Get out of here. The back of the wagon to take a nap. You... Uh, Zoit motions for Kaifen to take a uh, shotgun. Alright. Oh. I am desperately trying to find an image for you, Brian, but I'm having a hard time. <laughs> oh? Just keep going. I'm just gonna put you guys on the map when you travel. On the road again. <laughs> Can't wait to get on the road again. Haven's Can't never get driven a horse again. that'll be fine again. <laughs> I can't wait to go to Ricolas again. <laughs> Ricolas. Ricolas. All right. So you all sort of mount up, and uh, as you climb up, uh, Haven, uh, you kind of realize how sort of daunting this seems now that you're actually in the seat. Yeah. <laughs> and you're sitting next to him, right, Zort? Yeah, Zort uh, is in the driver's seat for now. Okay. Um, but uh, I figure he would just show Kaven how to, uh, like, how the basics of cart riding, and then like switch seats with him so he could tend his wounds. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Take to get back to where we're going from from the outpost. Um, uh, oh yeah, uh, go ahead, you know Zort. I would say it's probably gonna be like a full day's ride. Like, we, since we, like, we've gotten out here, it took, yeah, it took a full day to get out here. We were here for like a day, and back, uh, considering we're going back the same way we came, I would say that it would be about a day. What do you think? Well, since Kaven can't drive all night. Well, uh, Zord only needs it like an hour and then he could switch back. Can I sleep in the back then? If you want, yeah. Not long rest, just sleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is not a good place to get any sort of actual good sleep, but I'm just going to take a nap. Yeah, and a long rest isn't, you know, you don't have to actually like fall asleep for it. You just need eight yeah. hours of something. Yeah. Eight hours of good rest, which this is not. Yeah. This is short, bumpy. Yeah. And a short rest is between one and seven. One and right below eight hours is a short I, rest. I think it's, I think it's four hours, but honestly, I don't care if it's a little shorter. It doesn't I, really matter. No. Yeah, I thought a short rest was one. It's between like one and eight hours. Yeah. Uh, 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 rest a period of downtime at least one hour long. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Short wet rest, they really didn't care about as much in mm -hmm. 5e, so... Yeah. That's what I figured, well, if uh, if Zort could get Kaden to, Kaven to drive, he'd yeah. probably just do a short rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. Well, uh... Well, yeah, I think... I think Kaven, like, just showing Kaven the ropes, he could probably pick it up, because he knows how to use a horse. Yeah, Zort, you, um... You kind of turn the wagon around and get it started down the road and you show Kaven just kind of like the basic, you know, controls of the wagon. And uh so far Kaven, you're you're doing pretty good. I think I'm getting the hang of it, Mr. Zort. It's not too bad once you get at it. No, and plus you know how to handle a horse well enough, it seems, at least from what I've seen of you. Once oh, that's, you just, get to that's him, just calming them down. I don't know anything about riding them. Well, calming them down is the key to keeping a wagon going. Now, backing up, that is a challenge. So luckily, we will not have to do that for a while at least. Oh, 
Alright. Are you okay taking uh, the reins for a while while I check on my injuries? Oh, yeah, yes, Mr. Sort. Uh, you, you do what you need to do. I, I think I'll be fine. Uh, can you think uh, time will pass and I can just do a short rest real quick? But what do we think? Yeah. Um, as you guys start to go down the road, you start coming back the way you came across the bridge and where you fought uh, the strange bandits and, and the zombies. And it's been like a probably about three like three hours of just pretty silent rain. Uh, the rain, though, at about the three hour mark, is getting uh, a lot heavier, and the lightning grows more frequent as well. And uh, yeah, if uh, you can all take a short rest. I would say everyone except for uh, for Caven. This is kind of how do I do focusing. that? Uh, so if you it's... click on your character, oh here it is. Yeah, it's very easy. It's pretty easy, yeah. Mm -hmm. I rolled Dookie, but at least now I'm not totally injured. <laughs> I have yeah. forgot to roll. Oh, I caramba! Shit. Get a plus two to resting? What? <laughs> he's really, <laughs> he's really good. He's really good at taking naps. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that constitution affects your rest. Yeah. yeah. Plus two to rest. Gone? <laughs> yeah, constitution. Oh my god! <laughs> you tried to die! <laughs> In, uh, I have uh, 17 armor, so con is not the most important. Anyway. Yeah, I think um after like tending to himself, just noticing that Caven is doing pretty good, he'd probably just try to communicate like ways to go and like mm -hmm. small talk. Yeah. Just so the group like we don't get lost and like because he knows the area, but he'd probably let Caven practice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Caven, go ahead and make a animal handling check and Zort, go ahead and make a uh survival check. Alright. Animal handling. I believe I have proficiency of that. I do. Uh, <laughs> it's so weird how it, how it adds it, but it's right. <laughs> I need to check something. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm not sure if. Uh, do I get advantage get on? The, I might. One second. Um, I think it would make sense. But I, I would say. Uh, Brian, just to do uh -huh. advantage, because it makes sense. All right. You've been through here a lot. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. Yeah, um... You, you make it back onto kind of the main, um, brick road that runs, uh, north and south, uh, from Texlum. And, uh... The rain just keeps coming down harder and harder to the point where you can really only see about, like, 20 feet in front of you. And uh, you're quite glad that you got off the dirt road because it was getting quite hairy in some uh, areas with the mud. Um, and pretty soon... Let me check something. And are we into, like... Uh, we had, what, a week to, to go there and get back? Mm-hmm. We're on day four or five? Thinking back, you... You traveled north and then camped, so that's one day. Uh... The second day, you... I believe you got to the outpost, and you fought a bunch of stuff. And now it is it is about it's about I believe it would be about it's about seven p.m. at the moment, but uh, you're still. I feel like you're on your third day, but thinking back, I think you're actually on just your second day. So you're making very good range. time. 
you can when you call the best. Yeah, you can tell though, Zork, that uh, they're definitely not going to be making it to text them without traveling throughout the night. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think turning to uh, Caven, uh, he would ask, uh, "Are you?" doing okay we could stop and rest or we could travel through the night to get there uh what do you think would be the best course of action personally traveling at night can be dangerous but getting back as soon as possible might be a priority we may want to pull shifts uh, and get back in a hurry. Ah, uh, very well. I'll, uh, I'll keep driving as, uh, as long as I can. All right. I'm going to let inform everyone in back as to what we are doing. And Zort kind of, like, gets up and scoots around, uh, looking in the back of the carriage. Hello. Hmm. Hello, friends. We are making good pace, but in order to in order to get to Texlum, we will be traveling through the night instead of camping this time. We have plenty of time, but having a deadline over my head and our heads has made me wary of staying longer than we must. Very well. I would appreciate any uh, lookout watch type uh, activities as to keep us safe. I Though, can't feel do free... it in the dark, but I'll keep my eyes out. Yes, uh, I have plenty of torches if you need them. Well, that'll just uh, make us a brighter target. I suppose you're right. Though, we should keep one. I will keep it up in front so that the horses and Caven and I may see the road. Well, uh, good job over the last several days. I think we all make a very good team. And, uh, Zord gets back and moves back up to the front. All right, Caven, everything is set. Just tell me when you wish for me to take the reins. All right, Mr. Zord. I'll, uh, I'll keep going for as long as, as long as I can. I don't want to... They keep you from sleep. Um, I will take first watch. Uh, are you sure? Yes, so that I may uh, pull lookout so you only have to focus on driving. Uh, very well. And uh, Zort has a, like a torch uh, in his right hand and his crossbow across his lap. Pointing at or away from Cave. <laughs> uh, you better right. keep driving. <laughs> better keep hey. driving, boy. I'm going to mess you up. <laughs> keep driving, Sam. Yeah. Get him, boys. I might forgive you, but my Tommy gun don't. <laughs> him, boys. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to get your yellow, no good, ugly keister out my door. One, two, ten. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Keep the chain, you filthy animal. <laughs> right. Anyways. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> yeah, um. Go ahead and make a, uh, go ahead and make a perception check for me. Uh, for who? Oh, uh, Zork, sorry. Right. 17. 17. You definitely stay uh, awake. Uh, the short kind of rest that you had before helps uh, with your kind of fortitude to keep an eye out for things. And it's very strange. Uh, you could have sworn that you were on the kind of. Uh, the like brown and red brick road that you know leads back to Texlum, 
the yellow brick road. Yeah, but, uh, you look down and realize that you're back on a dirt road. Hey, but, uh, it seems we may have taken a wrong turn of sorts. I could have sworn we were at a brick road, but this one is dirt. Oh. Oh, th this is bad, uh. Oh, man. This no is, need this is to my panic. fault. Don't worry. No need to panic. I just need to figure out where we are. Uh, is there any markers around at all? Uh. Looking. Any, yeah. Uh, looking around, you haven't seen a sign or any sort of marking in quite a while. But as you're looking around, you see, uh, like, several kind of, like, cloud-to-cloud, like, uh, like, lightning arcs kind of happen up in the kind of dark clouds above you. And you see, oh. you've never seen anything like this, but you could, you could, like, swear that the lightning was kind of this, like, bright neon green. Hmm. Hmm. Caven, I believe that what is happening here may not be entirely all of your doing. I smell some form of magic. Did you notice the uh, lightning overhead? I'm not sure if you were looking. Uh, did Caven see it? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, you're pretty much just kind of laser focused on the road. Yeah. It would seem to me that, uh, there is some strange business going on. Uh, I, there was some form of lightning overhead, though it was not any color I believe to be natural. I'm gonna roust everyone, if you wouldn't mind just driving. Uh, very well. And Zork gets back up and goes in back to try to, like, rouse everyone. Hey, uh, if you would all, uh, kindly wake up and, uh, make yourselves available, I believe we may have, uh, be in the path of some form of, uh, magic, as the road is not what I would have expected for this area. And, uh, there was some strange phenomena in the sky. Uh, Ron, Relba, are you awake? I'm awake. Yes, uh, just, uh... Rel 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 up. Just, if you, you would both, uh, be alert. Uh, I'm worried we may be walking into something, or... I'm not quite sure, maybe we angered someone when we killed that plant. Could, no. uh, should me and follow alongside in the woods? Sneaky-like? I'm not sure if that's necessary right now. I'm just a little paranoid, I suppose, that someone may be wishing harm upon us. I just wish for us to be prepared, as being unprepared is what leads to tragedy. And I won't let that happen again. Not in my swamp. Very well. Haven, hey, now that you're kind of like on edge about what um, Zort said, you see uh, as on the side of the road, you see uh, this kind of like tall, uh, like twisted shape that kind of looks like it's m maybe like a tree, but you haven't really seen a, a tree that is this kind of, like, tall in the swamp so far. Does it seem to, like, resemble the shape of, like, a person, a humanoid-ish figure? At first, that is what you think, but as you look closer, you can tell it is just a very large, dead tree with a lot of twisted branches. He's gonna 
panic to himself a little bit, but then once he sees it closer, he's going to try and calm down and uh, and focus back and drive past it, if possible. Yeah. You continue on past it, and as Zork kind of uh, climbs back in, into the seat, you all sort of hear this extremely loud booming noise from behind you as you see as you all see actually because of the back of the wagon is kind of open uh you see that there's this large bolt of green lightning that comes down from the clouds and strikes this tree and 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 you see wood and dirt kind of explode from the bottom of it and you see it start to lean towards the wagon caven as you are looking behind like it's like the tree is about to fall yes it was it is it is a, it's slowly leaning towards the wagon but you can tell it's about to probably rapidly fall towards it mr zort the tree oh. Oh, you're gonna want to pick it up. Like, yeah. Uh, and <laughs> make an animal handling check for me. Ooh boy. Yeah. Uh, Ooh boy. <laughs> I figure uh, Zort really doesn't have time to reach for the reins. Like, uh, so it's better if uh, Caven does it. Uh, looking backwards, uh, this tree is probably tall enough to where it will fall on the wagon. Correct. It looks like it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rel. Do you think you could do anything to divert that tree's path? Rob kind of like looks at his hands, looks up at Zort and just kind of shakes his head. You're a magic, I thought you might have something. Rel lights things on fire and conjures light. And then I had it. You got a catapult? Throw something really heavy at it. You can only be up. five pounds. Yeah. Five pounds is all it takes. That's a lot of momentum. You're all kind of like thrown backwards as the horses go off at a gallop. But as you look back, you see that the tree now sort of impacting with the ground. Uh, the wagon makes a large sort of like crunching noise and kind of leans to one side. And it seems like one of the uh, one of the top most branches kind of snapped off and and uh kind of like hit into one of the back wheels you're gonna want to stop the cart caven next time you get a chance safely one of the wheels i think might have come off oh over oh dear um uh, stopping it how, how do i stop it uh, you're gonna want to pull back on the reins not too hard but give them a nice tug sort of like a, a dog <laughs> is he gonna, <laughs> gonna yank the uh I was about to say chain that's not a chain. Yeah, yank the chain. He's gonna pull back on the reins. Yeah, and then the horses uh do come to like a delayed stop. It seems they were pretty freaked out already from the lightning so close. Um You all kinda rub your eyes and have a bit of a headache from lightning striking so close. And as you kind of start to get out to inspect the damages, um, Zorit, you're the first to see that uh, about a fourth of the wheel kind of, like, caved in, and, like, mm. four or five of the, like, spokes are completely, like, snapped in half. It's still on the axle, but... This isn't good. Uh, uh, Prawn, if you could do a perimeter, just to make sure we're safe. Uh, Caven, if you could keep the horses calm. Rail, if you what? come with me. Hmm? Hey, again? My ears aren't too good for the lightning. They made me deaf a little bit. Yes, uh, if you might form a perimeter, Prawn, I trust you to, uh, check if there's anyone around. Can I, like, do some easy climbing and get on top of the wagon and just look around? Oh yeah, like you don't even have to yeah, roll. Right. It's it's you, you can just kind of swing yourself up on top of the wagon. That's what I mean. Yeah, Haven, if you could keep the horses calm, that would be much appreciated. 
uh, me and Rel will try to uh, deal with uh, the wheel here. It seems the other two are asleep. I'm going to make a ready action if I can for my bow. If I see anything that moves a little too fast, I'm going to go whoop. Sure. I'm ready. <laughs> Rel, uh, you're a fixer, correct? Yes. You, uh, kind of motioning over, you see this wheel here. We have a cave -in. Not the cave -in, in front, the cave -in, in back. Badoom. Velb is, like, looking up. He looks up towards the front of the wagon, in the back of the wagon, and then he's, like, looking at his... He's counting on his fingers. He's trying to figure out where the second cave-in came from. <laughs> I, I meant, like, a cave-in. The, the wheel is broken. Oh. It was uh, my attempt at a uh, humor. I'm doing my best. Ah. Rel Relb fix. Uh, can Relb see exactly what has gone wrong here? Like... Uh, yeah, you easily see that, uh, basically a, a large branch pretty much landed on top of the wheel, and, like, uh, about a fourth of the wheel is just kind of, like, caved in, and a bunch of the spokes are broken and scattered on, oh. on the ground. Oh, that's not... It's still easy. on the, like, axle. That's... God, an easy fix. Shit. Okay. Fuck. Uh, do you believe that? Uh, uh, do you have any supplies or, uh, what? What is your per opinion here, Rail? I, I would think something quick to uh, get us rolling again. Maybe not even at the same pace would be the best thing. Rail goes looking through his bag. And he pulls out his his pythons or however the fuck his big metal nails. Yes. Pitons. Pitons. Thank yeah. you, Brian. Uh, no problem. It's a really weird spelling. And Relb is going to attempt to just kind of nail them back together very haphazardly with maybe like some scattered bits of wood or something he has lying around or we have lying around in, like, the back mm -hmm. of the wagon or something. Because there's really nothing I can... he can do here. He's... he does not have, like, any of the proper equipment to repair this wheel. Okay, yeah. Um... Uh, I have my axe. If you need me, uh, wood, I can attempt to go forge. Though... Rail needs some wood, not much. Uh, putting his crossbow over his back and grabbing his halberd. Is there any, uh, wood very close? Like, uh... Yeah, there's... I don't know, maybe the dead tree. Yeah, there's... The, uh, dead tree's kind of, like, halfway on the road. And you see that it's, it, it's, like... It's, like, basically cut down in half from the lightning strike. Mm. Can Zort try to eyeball uh, a piece that... Uh, Rail, are you looking for spokes or a piece of the main wheel to help fix it? Um, piece of main wheel, please. Hmm. Can Zort try to find, like, a, maybe a slight curv uh, curved piece? Something sturdy? Yeah, make a investigation check. And, uh, Rail, I... I'm going to say that engineering is arcana, because engineering is magic, you know? So. <laughs> Go ahead and make a arcana check for me. I'm not sure how much I agree with that statement, but okay, <laughs> buddy. It's the closest thing I we mean, have. 13. It's not bad, because Ar Ar arcana is derived uh, from wisdom, isn't it? And, yeah. Like, that's that's a lot of, like, the more practical stuff. Mm -hmm. 13. 13? You think with the right pieces, this might work. Maybe not all the way back to text them, but... I, I have an idea. Hmm. It's oh, an yeah. awful idea, and I don't know if it'll work, but the I, the basic idea is to grab... is I'm going to get, like, some thin pieces of wood and lay them on the outer part of the wheel itself and hammer those into place to sort of... to sort of like a bridge or a, um, a support beam to just keep that outer layer of the wheel in place. 
uh, in the hopes that it'll at least get us going for a little bit so we can maybe get back on the main road. Sure, yeah. Well, before I find wood, do you think this will be helpful? And out of uh, the backpack in, in, in his front, Zort pulls out a bear trap. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm no builder. I'm not sure if this could help you uh, if you loaded it and sprung it, if it could put pressure on your pieces to keep them all together. It is a little... Ha- it's a l- Rope has nails. Okay. And Zort puts his bear trap away. Why the I will, uh... Me? Who just carries a fucking bear trap around? <laughs> Zort does. Zort is the a janitor. Remember uh, so, back when we were fighting that bird that was like a falcon that was disguised as a chicken? I was gonna throw it at it. I'd oh! That. That's <laughs> what I said was a really bad idea. I was gonna slow oh, it, yeah. throw it at it in mid <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, Keep trying to find a way to use it. I, I, it's like 20 pounds. It's heavy. Yeah. Alright. Realm. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, Zort. Sorry. Uh, oh, fine. You, uh, you kind of found, like, about five feet back, like, the initial spot where the limb kind of struck the wheel, and you find a lot of, like, pieces of the outer wheel and most of the, most of the spokes, but as you keep looking around, like, there's one piece of the, like, of the outer, like, round part of the wheel that is the largest that you cannot find. Uh, using his halberd, could he cut off a piece of some, uh, some tree to kind of replicate that sort of thing? Or at least roughly? Yeah, there's, a the, uh, dead tree, a lot of the limbs were very, like, weirdly curved. And you find a good limb that might suffice for Rel. Alright, uh, can I try chopping it? I think you can just do that, yeah. You're good at nope. chopping. I am good at chopping. And Rel- I think uh, Zort would get this back as soon as possible. Yeah, Rel, now that you've come up with an idea and you have most of your, like, materials, go ahead and make an- another Ar- Arcana check for me. Nine. Nine. You start to piece it back together, um, and... It seems like it's probably going to hold up, and then as you kind of, like, gently push on it to see if it will hold up when it turns, you notice that there's an additional, like, creaking noise that did not come from your, uh, minor invention here. And as you look up, you see the sort of, like, wooden connecting rod that connects the actual wheel to, um... Or sorry, that the it's like the connecting rod that goes in be- like in the middle of the wheel, basically that connects to the like axle. You see that uh, there's one a, of the spokes. Yeah, you see that there's a massive like crack that runs down the entirety of it, all the all the way from the wheel to the like axle. Ah. Uh. And it's at, at about this time, Prawn, you start to see something kind of walk through the sort of wall of rain that you've been kind of patrolling. I'm keep bop, I'm bop, bop, arrows ready to fire. I'm keeping my eyes on it. Z- uh, Zach. Mm-hmm. I'm going to point it out, though. I'm going to go, whoa! How, how wide is this crack? Is it just like sort of a hairline thing, or is it starting to kind of... It's... Is the wheel starting to bow apart? Towards the wheel is hairline, but as it gets to the axle, it's about half an inch wide. And as you're kind of looking it over, you hear Prawn go, Ooh! And, <laughs> and uh, Prawn, you see it's definitely, like, humanoid, and it is kind of, like, it's, uh, has, like, something over its shoulder, and it's quite short. And it seems like it hasn't seen you yet, but it's just kind of walking down the middle of the road. I'm gonna make a... How far away is it? Probably about, like, 25-ish feet.
How far? 25 feet. Okay. I'll be like, Burp! Stop! It kind of stops, he kind of jumps back, and it, like, looks at you. And you hear over the rain, Whoa! Who goes there? Who goes there? Oh, uh, my name's Carl. Oh, right. did your wagon break down? It's a skeleton jamming. Awfully suspicious for you to know that. Oh, I can cut. It's leaning to one side. You could As... see the wagon, but you couldn't see me. Whatever, I As... look over in the area, I see you. As... As they are having this conversation, Relv is going to grab the wheel, grab the, the inner most part of the wheel, and he's going to try and pull it back to uh, bring the, the two edges of that fracture together mm -hmm. so that he can lay some patchwork repairs over it. Yeah, go ahead and make a strength check for me. Can Zord attempt to like lift the wagon a little bit to take uh, to take strain off of the wheel? So yeah. That, uh, Ralph well, can do the repairs easier. Sure, make a a strength check as well. The, I got an eleven. Yeah, the um, the wagon is quite heavy, Zor, but you feel like you are helping. And Rel, you can kind of like just barely get um, the two ends of the crack uh, together, but you notice that it won't like stay like that. As soon as you start to let go, it kind of splits back open. It's right. Oh, yeah. The wheel like this, and Relb like shows him how he, um, like kind of pulled it forward a little bit so the it returned to just a sort of hairline fracture. You want me to put the wagon down and hold it? Yes. Uh, Zort's gonna slowly lower like uh the wagon for however much he managed to pick up, like a, a hairline off the ground or whatever. Yeah, that like corner. Uh, can I try to hold it, uh, like, together while Relp does what he needs to do? Yeah, I would say that you're able to. And, uh, the man, uh, kind of looks at you, Prawn, and goes, Man, the wagon's at an angle like that. I, that's not just the wheel broken, is it? Well, actually, no, I've just been up here for, like, a while. Pretty wet. It's, it's rainy. Yeah, we've been gone rain like this in a while. Is, you, where's Caven? Is Caven awake? Caven, I believe, is with the horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Caleb passed out after the lightning. I don't know if he got scared and took a nap. <laughs> no, no he he's, he's the, horses. the horses. Well, horses are strapped down, aren't they? I think well, yeah, it's raining and there's lightning. They could get yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll, all right, then I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go down there and meet with Mr. Man and don't let him get too close to the wagon. Yeah, as you get closer, you see he's a very short, uh, like orc, and uh, he goes again. Uh, my name's Carl. Uh, what are you guys doing out here? Heading to town. Heading to which town? What town do you think? Well. Apparently, you're not really going to any town. Where are we going? Well, you're heading... Well, right now, you're on... Uh, what we like to call the Old Road. Uh, the Old Town Road? <laughs> well, there's already no town, but... It is an old road. We did take our horses there. Eh? We did. Before yeah, those, we can't, ride. we can't ride no more. <laughs> it's true. The horses are in the front though this time. Oh no! You 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 ex <laughs> you've exposed my entire plot. No, <laughs> old road. <laughs> yeah, but he goes. Yeah, this is the old road that was made before those fancy engineers in Texla made that tunnel through the mountain range. Right Answer. now, you're about a three-day journey from, uh, Luimger. 
Heading straight away from Textlum if that's where you're trying to go. And Let me... Oh, I don't have the map on me. I can't cross reference. Uh, I still walk as the map. I would say that y you can just always have the map. It's fine. Okay, well then... You can ask for it and look at it. I think my whatever. brain scan of the map. Yeah. <laughs> we, have, we haven't come across an outpost, so we must be around here. So we went the wrong way out. Followed the road, went the wrong way, and we haven't found an outpost yet. So it's not too late for us to turn around. Unless we want to go through mountains. Yeah, there's no way over those mountains. Is there a way through them? Well, yeah, but you'd have to go all the way down south to, uh, Luimjur. You'd have to bank shot around. Oh, no, there's a tunnel that goes from just outside of Luimjur down to the Textum Valley. Interesting. How do you all know this? What are, what are you doing here for? What are you on this random road for? Oh, uh, well, he, like, kind of nods to what he has over his like, shoulder, and there's, like, a, probably about, like, a, like, a three-point, uh, buck that's kind of tossed over his, like, shoulder. You see, on the other shoulder, there's a, a, like, long bow. I was, uh, I, uh... I was getting some, uh, food, you see, there, uh, I, I own an inn about ten minutes down the road. Interesting. How packed Interesting. is it? Oh, well, I left this morning. Uh, we had some reservations by mail, I think, but uh, not sure if they actually showed up. A lot of they times they don't. Uh, did they prepay? Uh, that's not how it works. We don't get that much business to where we have to actually, you know, reserve the rooms. We just like to know beforehand, you know, what kind of business we're getting into. Well, if we need to stay, we will. All right, yeah. Just keep going the way you came, and uh, my uh, my son is actually pretty good at uh, wagon repairs and whatnot. So uh, if, you, if you need any of that, well, you know where to find me. And he kind of keeps walking past the wagon and continues up the road. So, uh, what's going on with the wheel? Like, like uh, do any of us do hear this conversation over the rain, or is it too... Uh, I would the say... Rain, in the rain sounds like Josuke. <laughs> I would say that you all, like, hear it, yeah. Oh, well, our best bet is to turn around and go back, because we're going to make... Because we spent, like, half a day, half a night, getting here. If we go back around, we can still make it back in, like, a day and a half. Or we can spend, like... At least three days going down to Lewimger, and who knows how long from there getting to Texlum. Oof. Are you talking to me? All of you. All of y'all. Yeah. Uh, what What did the man say you were talking to? Uh, we're on the wrong way. You know, took us south. Where? We, south? Where, where are we going? Lewimger. Oh, we went too far west. You thought we said we... We thought mistake. you said wheat! 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 So, uh... <laughs> is there a... I don't believe there's any major towns nearby. There's an end down ten minutes of the road, or we can go back around. Uh, and he looks at Relb in the wheel. Relb, I don't think this wheel, uh, it's not gonna probably make it another couple days without major repairs, is it? How good of a oh. circle can Relb make with his body? <laughs> Ron. We him in the wheel hole, and we can use him. I think that's a little rude. He probably doesn't like cramped spaces on account of the mines. I've just played. Rel, you are like trying to frantically hammer the pitons into the like axle. <laughs> it's not going well. 
because it's too no, wet. He, he's not, the he's not hammering into the well. Um, oh, bitch, I need like a picture of a wagon wheel to show what I'm... <laughs> oh, but I lost a broken wheel Are, I got this. You're... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> At least that didn't happen to Jeep, the wagon. Jeep, Jeep owners be Jeep like, oh, it's just a scratch. <laughs> Jeep owners He's not be like, the uh, wood highway safe. He's laying the strips of wood flat across um, the length of the... Or the width of the... The fissure. In the, oh, okay. In the wheel, in like... It's not a hubcap, but that's the closest parallel I yeah, can yeah, to yeah. I can go from. Yeah. And he's hammering that into place so it doesn't bow apart again. <laughs> um, yeah. As you do so, and you think it's... You have, like, probably about five pieces of wood, uh, like, kind of... I should point out, I, I have to be very, very careful with my nails because I've only got ten of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you use your remaining uh, nails, and you let go, and it seems perfect, and then there's a creaking, and about half of them just kind of snap in half, and the crack starts to open they're, again. They're like railroad spikes, dude! <laughs> yeah, the, the, the spikes are still oh, in, nice. but the wood that you laid across it has cracked. Oh. Rob just kind of falls onto his back, stares up into the sky, and just kind of groans. <laughs> I got a question. For God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Don't Question. For God. Don't wear. 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 Rob, uh, I think you should probably do the best you can, then we should try to limp this over to, uh, to the, uh, to the inn. See if they can help us. Relv kind of like sadly nods his head. You did the best you can. We'll pick up supplies next time we're back in the city. An extra wheel wouldn't be a bad thing to carry. Elv is going to build us better. <laughs> yeah, very slowly. Uh. You start to wheel the wagon, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, I figure Zort, Zort might just, like, stay behind the car and just walk to make sure nothing, mm -hmm. like, is breaking. Yeah. You see that the, sort of, like, um, the, like, wood that Rob has put across the, like, crack, every time it gets to the part of the wheel that Rob replaced, uh, you see that the wood just kind of, like, bows out a lot, and then kind of, like, flexes back down. And it's a very that's, horrible that's noise. Not, that's <laughs> Every time the wheel good. goes around. That's so bad! But, um, after about 25 minutes, you do start to see the outline of a building on the left side of the of the road and uh from the kind of like fog from the rain you all see uh the same man uh approach whoa you actually got it here uh hello sir we limped it as best we could and he kind of like walks like ar ar around the wagon. Whoa! Did you use pitons as nails? I didn't think that would even work. It's what we had at the time. Yeah. Well, you can just leave it there. My, uh, after my son is done with his shift, I'll be sure to, uh, tell him he's got a new repair out front. Yeah, uh, I think we'll be staying tonight. We gotta leave pretty, uh, Early in the morning. Would you like me to pay now? Well, uh, we'll 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 pay inside, and he kind of starts to lead you down the road, and uh, everyone, I would get out of the cart with whatever you need, sir. Feel free to move it at your uh, discretion. Just uh, 
try and be kind to my horses. I've had them for more than I thought I would have them for. And All I guess right. Yeah. Everyone goes inside. Yeah, you um, you kind of walk down the road with um Carl leading the way. And uh, he kind of makes a left-hand turn, and you start to see, like, the actual, like, scope of this inn is quite large. There's a bunch of horses hitched out front. Uh, there's, like, like kind of this, like, grand sort of entrance. It's a very large brick building, and he's kind of just, like, standing in front of it. He goes, well, uh... I gotta attend to, uh, the, uh, skinning I was doing, but, uh, if you go inside,